came to guys i'm back with yet another video i hope you guys have enjoyed watching my previous videos before going ahead i would like to say something about myself and the way i shop so i think there are two types of shoppers one is a smart shopper and another is an impulsive one so a smart shopper is someone who thinks before shopping and an impulsive one is like ki oh wow i love this i'm going to take this they don't think they just grab whatever they like so whenever i shop something online or in stores i always think before i shop like how can i use this how can this be used and many other factors and then i shop but obviously i also sometimes do impulsive shopping whenever i see something i like something i'll just take it and then i realize oops ye to fail ho gaya but theek hai kabhi kabhi chalta hai but majorly from my wardrobe i love pieces that i can use in different ways and multi style it and my insta fam must be already aware about my jugar videos where i love to experiment and make the most of the pieces available and since the festival of light and positivity is around the corner today's video is going to be about affordable multi styling the same old pieces in your wardrobe so without any further delay let's get into the video We all have dresses with us. Opt for your favorite dress. It could be either embellished, simple, or a little fancy one. Then you can club it with a skirt. I chose a shimmer box pleat skirt. The whole idea behind this video is to upcycle the pieces to make it more wearable and stylish. Just add any stud earring, and whoa, here we go! It's looking all flawless. Next I have this red off shoulder dress in my wardrobe which I have clubbed it with my mom's off white churidar this look will give you a simple and classy feel added a pearl neck piece again stole from my mom's wardrobe who knew we could use dresses in such an ethnic way so now i'm sure that your dresses won't be lying in your cupboards during this festivities now for this look i thought of digging into my dad's wardrobe Grab any shirt which will give an oversized look. Pair it with the leggings. Here comes the hero. I recently bought this choli crop top from Goa and it's just so beautiful. You can use any blouse or choli. Love how this choli is adding an oomph factor overall. Wow, a completely different looking outfit. Pair it up with lovely oxidized earring and clutch and there you are ready to rock and roll. Take out your flowy dress or any dress which has some gathers or ruffles. I have this lovely blouse which has a perfect print for festival season. Wearing a blouse with such dress will give a flared kurti look with fitted yoke and club it with a dhoti or a patiala pant. Wear this look at a get together or a building diwali party. Oh and don't forget the earring and the clutch. It just complete the look. I prefer going monotone and look how stunning the outcome is. So this one is my personal favorite. Take a small width dupatta ideally so that it gives a crisp look. I would suggest that take a heavy dupatta so that it goes well with the plain jumpsuit. Follow the neckline and backline of the jumpsuit and secure it with pins. Club it with a big corset belt and long danglers. Bam, there you are ready to make a style statement and this look will give you complete bossy vibes. Another way you can upcycle your jumpsuit is pair it up with a top which has shimmer or some nice detailing. Wear a belt to complete the look. Add a lovely mang tikka and envelope clutch and you are so ready for a friends diwali get together party or a nice housewarming party. Take a free size gagra, pull it up below your collar bone, belt it up, add your bindi, your jumkas and i was feeling my look is little incomplete so i went ahead and added up a nice dupatta which goes really well with my bright yellow gagra you can use a monotone dupatta or contrast both will work really well this look is ideal for a perfect diwali party at your home this piece definitely gives an anarkari look But no, it's a gagra. Yes, you heard it right. It's a gagra. Take a full flared kalidar gagra and club it with a delicate belt for accentuating your waist. You're almost sorted. Just dress it up with a blingy choker. Who would have imagined you can use a gagra like that way?
Now take a long shrug, tie it around your waist, leave the sleeves in such a way that you can later use it for tying. Now make sure that you secure and knot it tightly. We don't want any malfunction. Pin it slightly below or overall whatever you're comfortable with. Club it with long earrings and contrast choli. And now you have your flowy shrug as your flowy gagra. Next, take a cardigan, wrap it around your torso like a tie-up crop top. Make sure the back is fully secure so that it looks like a cropped blouse. Wear your vibrant dhoti pants, gagra or whatever you prefer. Complete your look with a pair of earring and a clutch. So for this look, wear a printed palazzo pants with a corset. Now take a dupatta, use a belt to make your waist look more cinched and so that everything stays in place. As you can see, this might give you a look as if you're wearing a jacket. This attire is giving a major Indo Western vibes. Add a choker and you're all set. So for the last look, take a dupatta, wear it with a skirt and a corset. This hack I had seen on Instagram and I really wanted to check whether it's a pass or a fail. And even if you guys want to try it out, follow the steps that I'm following. Whoa, this one was completely a pass and it really turned out better than I expected. Add long danglers and you are good to go. So that's how you can upcycle a few pieces from your wardrobe. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video. If yes, do let me know because I love receiving feedback from you guys. And this is what I really loved and enjoyed doing it. I hope some of the hacks will be useful for you guys or beneficial for you guys. If you guys try them, do share your pictures or tag me on Instagram because I would love to see them. For now, it's a wrap. But before that, I would like to give a hint of my next video. It's gonna be related to beauty and something that I've never tried in front of you guys. So yeah, I'm excited. Brace yourselves. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!